Constable, your hands. Do you know that song? John Denver. If you don't know the song, look it up. But we really are leaving on a jet plane today. I wanted to let you know how our bags are holding up. This is the two-wheeled Samsonite I got for myself. It's for under the seat. And I got the right dimensions. But I want to let you know those tiny economy planes, this will fit under the seat just barely. It fits just right. But those bins that are on top, Nothing will fit in there other than your coat and a small purse. If it doesn't fit in under your seat, it will have to be checked in. But they do that at the gate if they say that it's, if you have two bags, you know, a personal bag like I had, like a purse and this bag, um, you could check it in if for some reason, but both this and my purse fit right under the seat so it wasn't an issue. They'll do it for free, those economy planes, at least the ones I saw that if you can't, get it in the bin, which you won't. <laughs> Unless, like I said, you got a very tiny bag. So the only thing is, going down the aisles with two wheels, you have to go this way. And the aisles are just this wide, literally. Not another, hardly any space at all. So you'll be bumping into, especially I had the second bag on top, and maybe it was kind of like falling over a little bit. So I kept bumping into the chairs. So I had Rick grab this for me, and I, dragged his so overall absolutely love this bag easy to go down the airport with it getting down the aisles in a tiny tiny plane is hard getting down a regular plane is not bad sturdy as all get out <laughs> these zippers i've been stuffing and stuffing and they hold up like you won't believe because you know how zippers are they always bust so far we've been traveling almost three months across the united states and now in europe and it's holding up really good. There's two pockets on each side. I could put in my slippers or an umbrella or dirty clothes or whatever I want. There's plastic on the inside. I have this outside bag and then of course inside with little compartments to put things, but it's stuffed and I'm not gonna open it to show you. Otherwise I'll have to sit on it again and stuff it, but you won't believe how much stuff I can fit in here. I'm loving this bag. I do highly recommend it if you're looking for an affordable bag to put under your seat and if you want prices just click on the link I'll put in the comment section you can see the prices because when you shop on Amazon and by the way I am an affiliate with Amazon because that's where I get all my stuff so if I believe in something and I use it I'm gonna tell you about it so if you want to know a price just go to the link because there's different sellers on Amazon a lot of people don't know that that there's different sellers different retailers that are on there. And then there's a the little guy with smaller businesses selling as well. So let me show you Rick's bag. It's a four wheeler. And that one is really easy to get down the aisles because it has four wheels and you could turn it sideways and roll it down that way, down those tiny little um, places. It'll fit in a bin on a regular plane, but not an economy size plane. But no big deal. You put a little tag on it, they take it, they give it back to you when you get off the plane. But let me show that to you. So this is Rick's bag. It's a little bit bigger. It will uh, go on as a carry-on. This thing just uh, will roll like a dream. So Rick and I have switched because he's stronger than I am. You see how it can go down the aisle sideways? So that's very helpful. It is bigger. It does hold a little bit more. So... I don't know, it depends on how much stuff you have, but I like this one because of the four wheels. It's just easier. It also has a zipper here. It has another section here. You put a laptop, then you have your regular main compartment where you put lots of stuff in there. So definitely love it. And I also have these locks on here, even though we're carrying them on the plane, you never know if you do have to check them in. So have locks ready to go. We also have our information on the back here. You might want to put a tag or write it on here. So if it does get lost, that your information is on there. 
Again, I'll put this link also in the comment section. I'm gonna show you Willow and Noah's bag. I'll just show you one of them. They're identical, different colors. And this is the bag that Willow and Noah have. This one, if you're just looking for a backpack, five stars, 10 stars out of five, if that's possible. It is sturdy, sturdy. The zippers are also super strong. And this is from eBags, and that's the little bags I have inside these bags to compress the clothing as well. Love them. Uh, so this one has this zipper and it has little compartments. Then there's this top here so you can put more stuff in there. There's a spot for your computer back here and another spot in here. And then you can widen this if you want. We keep them compressed for the airport so it can go in the cabin. And they have these little compression straps here that even compress it more. Inside there's more compression straps. And you can carry it as a backpack or you can carry it as a messenger bag. And they thought of it all. They've got a handle here. They have a handle here. They have a handle here. So if you're taking it out of your trunk of your car or if you're reaching out of the bin, you can just pull it right out. Again, we have these locks on here. Just in case they want to take our bags away, we have our locks here and they could store it under the plane. But these fit nicely right under the seat, even in that tiny, tiny little tuna can of an airplane that we took. So I definitely recommend this for anybody who's looking for a backpack. This is the junior size and it holds a lot. And once you're not on the plane, there's this extra zipper and it will widen so you can fit even more. So if you're just backpacking or traveling um, through trains, but for the airplane, we like to keep it compressed. I don't have one because it's just too heavy for me, but for you younger, stronger people, this is a great backpack. Not only is it good for travel, but for school, college, whatever, camping, whatever you need it for. And actually, I do have one more bag, Willow's bag that she's been carrying her college books in. So let me show you that, and that one also fits nicely underneath the seat, even an economy seat. Now this is Willow's bag. Rick and I have a Samsonite, but Willow's bag is a travel-on. This works perfectly for what she needs it for. This is her personal bag. The backpack is her other bag that she puts up in the bin. This goes under the seat. This one here is great for all her college books. Her computer fits in there. We have a zipper here. You got a zipper there. You got your main compartment that you can just place things in there. You also have little spots here for your umbrella. Here in Ireland, it's been raining almost daily, so definitely need that. And back here, they have this little thing. So if you do have another rolling uh, suitcase or bag, that you could just place this right on top of that other bag so you could drag two bags. Again, locks, locks in every bag that we have. Have your telescopic handle so you could pull this around. Or if you want, you could zip that up and you can just carry it like this, just like a bag. But it rolls very nicely. And we also recommend this one. Travelon is an awesome product as well. So I can't go wrong with Travelon or Samsonite. One of the big sellers is my purse, the Travelon purse, traveling bag, whatever you want to call it. So let me show you. That's the last bag I'm going to show you. And then we got to go. I don't want to be late for our plane. I've been using Travelon purses for years, but the one I had before this one is a smaller one for just running around town at home. Uh, this one I got because it's a little bit bigger, as you can see, but it's like my favorite new bag. It's sturdy. I love sturdy because I'm not too delicate with things. And this has lasted me throwing it around, throwing it in the car, throwing it on the floor, <laughs> in hotel rooms, Airbnbs, just getting everywhere. Planes, the zippers are sturdy. There's little, I don't know, let me zoom. I can't really zoom in, but let me get a little closer. You see that here? That will lock with different parts of the purse to keep it, keep it locked so you don't have pickpocketers zipping your bag and grabbing it because they're good. You have to be very careful when traveling that you don't get pickpocketed. And this bag definitely fits the criteria that I was looking for. So the zippers can lock in. I've got different compartments. I can put tissue on the outside there. <laughs> the pickpocketers can have that if they want. And then I have another pocket here to put whatever. And then you got your main compartment inside a big spot. And then you got little places to put little cards. 
And then you got another zipper here. And what I like about this Percy, that bright blue, if you're like me and everything's black, you can't find things inside your purse. It's like a black hole <laughs> and you go into it like a Mary Poppins purse and you just keep pulling stuff out because you can't find what you're looking for. But this blue background really helps you to be able to see what you're looking for. And this strap here, can I could wrap it around like this, which I do, and you can make it shorter if you want it shorter or you can make it longer so it's hanging lower. It's just an awesome bag. And it also has the two pockets here. And you put the umbrella. And I always have a bottle of water with me, so that goes on the other side. And if you don't want to carry an umbrella or a bottle of water, you can zip up these sides like that and make your purse look a little bit smaller. I like black because, like I said, I throw things around, things get dirty. I like the material. It's easy to clean wipe. It doesn't get dirty easily. At least you can't see it. And if it does, I just wipe it right off. So that's all I have to say. Leaving my beautiful Airbnb in Teelan, Donegal County, Ireland. And we gotta go. Come on.